Some of the most masterful creations come from the simplest ingredients. Flour, eggs, oil. So simple, totally not exciting, and definitely not tasty. Well, maybe for some. But mix them together and you get Italian perfection. Just the right acidity. Just the right texture. So much history. So rich in flavor. Robust, strong, mouth-watering, heavenly. An Italian masterpiece, and it's not this bowl of pasta. It's the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvia Quattrofoglio. Although Andy might disagree. This week we are lab testing the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quattrofoglio. This is truly an SUV with the heart of a race car. Well, for starters, a few things that make this so dog friendly. It's low to the ground. Now this thing doesn't lower, but it's perfect as is. Easy to get a fur kid in and out. You see these quad exhaust tips? Now, it gets hot with this vehicle on, so if you're loading a fur kid, do it quickly because you don't want that fire burning on them. 40, 20, 40 split back seats. Can't get any better than this. You still have two full size seats and you can pet your dog. Now, speaking of seats, plenty of leg room. They are spacious, comfortable, sporty. Do you like them? Do you like the seats? She says she likes the seats. Come here, Andy, look at these vents. How awesome is that? Oh, don't those feel good? And if you really need that extra airflow, this thing has a legit three-prong outlet. I can't think of a better way to cool Andy down back here. Storage under the floor, great for stowing those dog treats and toys. Now there's not a spare tire, but it has a tire repair kit. What do you think? What do you prefer? The spare or the kit? Plus, it has a cargo cover and this thing to cover the rear window. So if you really want to block out the sunlight or hide whatever you got back here, you can. Hoppity plop from the rear. Now they don't go fully flat, but they are way flatter than other vehicles in this segment. Tons of extra space. You can roll around, play in here, whatever you want to do. So much more room for Andy. And look how comfy she looks. I mean, I'm Italian, Andy's basically Italian, this car is Italian. Look, why don't you join the Italian family? If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel and you're watching, just subscribe. I mean, you could always unsubscribe, right? Now, two things I want to point out real quick. One, yes, there's a crack in the windshield, but it's really not that big of a deal. And to be honest with you, I'm super impressed. That glass is thick. I mean, it makes me feel pretty safe. And two, Yes, my arms, it might look like I was attacked by a feral cat, but I promise you, it's all good. I happened to crash a drone in a tree, and there was all these prickers and thorns, and unfortunately, I was too far away from home, and I was wearing a strapless romper. At least I got the drone. This is fast and fun to drive. And unless you're in race mode, it's actually pretty quiet, which I really appreciate because you can enjoy the speed without making a ruckus. And your fur kid in the back feels that much more relaxed. And you gotta love the acronym for driving modes, DNA. That's right, in its makeup, you have dynamic, natural, and advanced efficiency. I mean, that is so clever, I love that. And when you come to a full stop, you put this thing in race mode, and it just speaks for itself. Woo! <laughs> Don't worry, Andy's not in 
the back because she would have been flung back there. Zero lag, tremendous performance. It's so smooth, it's comfortable. There's 505 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds with a top speed of 176 miles per hour. Now, I'm not going anywhere near that speed. I don't have an airstrip. I mean, that would be kind of fun. Anyone have an airstrip I could borrow? I kind of want to test that out one day. It also has Q4 all-wheel drive. This thing feels so stable and there's an almost near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution. You feel like you are in complete control. No cars behind me. Let's go. Now when you want to back this thing up, it honestly feels kind of wide, I think because of the trim that comes out by the wheels. The backup cam, you don't have a 360 view, and I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but hey, that is totally not a deal breaker, and at least it's got something. I think it's pretty clear this is fun to drive, but I'm back in normal mode. I got Andy in the back. How you doing back there, sweet girl? Andy is enjoying that air conditioning. And speaking of AC, this vehicle has got one of the coolest air vents I have ever seen. Ah, it kind of reminds me of an airplane engine. And there's even some alerts in here that kind of remind me of an airplane. And passengers, uh, we are about ready for takeoff. But you know, back in the day, like World War I time, Alpha did produce airplane engines. Hmm, maybe there's a little inspiration there. You know what else is unique? The start stop engine button on the steering wheel, just like a true race car. And these seats, I mean, can we talk about these seats? Look at these things! There is support everywhere, but especially these side bolsters. I mean, they hug you so tight, it almost feels like they're embracing you. I mean, can we say red leather, red stitching? And did you notice the carbon fiber? I mean, carbon fiber is everywhere. You could actually get these seats in carbon fiber. Now, this model doesn't have it, but if you watch the straight pipes video, you can totally check that out. The steering wheel, it's just the right thickness. I think it's made for a female's hand. All you dog moms out there, safe to say this is definitely a driver's car. But don't you love how comfy Andy is in the back? Infotainment, 8.8 inch display. It's not touch screen, you have a scroll knob. But hear me out, this scroll knob works great, it's easy to use, and I actually kinda like it. Plus, Apple CarPlay works flawlessly and you can plug it into any USB port. You don't have to hunt around for the right port. The temp control is pretty basic, straightforward right here. But you know what is the best thing? Is when you start this up, the beautiful color display you get. And storage. Your center console, mm, not that big. Front console, eh. Doors have a pretty nice space. No. Nice deep cup holders up front. And I also love that this space in the door isn't a hole. You can actually store stuff in it. Sunglasses holder, or Andy might call it her treat bin. Right, Andy? Plus some extra storage in that second row. Let's go check it out. You got seat backs, a little space in the doors. These have little cubbies too. A small little rubberized dog treat bin right here in the center. Two cup holders, a phone slot, and if you happen to forget what vehicle you're in, says it right here, Alfa Romeo. So before I got this vehicle, I wanted to make sure I didn't butcher the name. So of course I went to Google Translate. Here's the Italian version. I hope it's right, because this is what I've been modeling. You ready? Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quattrifoglio. Andy, what do you think of the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quattrifoglio? <laughs> now that really just stands for Alfa Romeo Four Leaf Clover. Have you noticed the four leaf clovers? 
So back in the early 1920s, there was this legendary racer, Ubu Tsubachi. He was determined to put an end to his second place streak. So he painted a white square with a green four leaf clover. And he actually won, he came in first place. Andy, you don't seem very interested in this story. But sadly, Tsubachi lost his life in a crash. And that's why the four leaf clover is now over a triangle. The square is missing an edge. It symbolizes his loss and it honors his legacy. And you're gonna find this badge on all of the race inspired vehicles. So like this one, the Stelvia Giulia, and the brand new Formula One C38. Now there has been a ton to love about this SUV. Should we tell them, Andy? Hmm. Our top five favorite features are, one, the overall exterior. I think this is one of the best looking SUVs out there and those five whole wheels, can they get any more beautiful? Two, the air vents. They are such a cool looking design. Plus, they're pretty powerful. Three, DNA driving modes are comfortable for your fur kid. You can enjoy the speed without freaking them out with the sound of the exhaust and the engine. Four, the power folding side mirrors. And they also have a blind spot monitor, which has an auditory and visual cue. And five, the 40-20-40 split. <laughs> super dog friendly. Big shout out to FCA and specifically Alfa Romeo for letting us lab test this 2019 Stelvio Quattrofolio. Andy, is it lab approved? <gasps> this thing is totally lab approved and lab mom approved. Now, if you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, click to subscribe, turn that bell on so you know when our next lab tested review is up. And don't forget, follow Andy on Instagram so you can see more photos of this beauty. We'll see you next time. Bye.